There's two ways to do distance formula. There's like a generic, you know, they give you a formula and you can memorize it um, between two points, or you can use this like pretty secretive technique that I'm about to show you. And so, you know, typically you'll have something like this, like two, four, and you know, whatever, four, eight. And they'll say, please find the distance between these two points. And there's this super complicated formula, which I'll show you. The problem with the, what scares me is that it's kind of hard to memorize formulas. And so this is the formula, the distance formula. So first I'm going to show you that kind of generic way. And then I'm going to show you my little secret angle on things. Okay. So this distance is equal to the root of x2 minus x1. Um, plus y2 minus y1. And the one thing you have to know here is that this is not <coughs> this is not x squared. Some people are like, oh, x squared? No, it's not that. Oh, excuse me. And these are squared. I almost forgot that. So you have basically the difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y squared. So let's do this. If you really labeled these, which I never do, but you could call this x1, y1, x2, y2, right? So now we'd plug them in x2 minus x1, so this is all rooted. You'd have 4 minus 2, x minus x squared, plus y minus y, 8 minus 4 squared, which would give you root, so this looks like 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, plus 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 squared is 16. This would be the root of 20, okay? I don't hate the distance formula. I mean, it makes sense, but now I'm going to show you the cool technique which is actually the derivation of this distance formula. So that made sense, right? Now check this out. This is how the cool people do it, like if you're hardcore math. And again, whoever invented the distance formula, all they did was what I'm about to do and then make it shorter for you. So you would actually graph these with my secret technique, right? So here's bloody blah, blah, y-axis, x-axis. So two, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. It'd be about there. Then you have 4, 8, one, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it'd be about here. And that's a diagonal line. The distance between them is a diagonal line. And that's a problem. We can't, like, count that out. We can't measure it, which makes distances difficult, frankly. But every single diagonal line can be broken down into exactly a vertical and a horizontal component. And obviously, if this went from 2 to 4, we could count this, this would be two spaces, right? This was at two, and this is at four, so that's two across. And if you had graph paper, you could actually like count them out. Then from the y, it went from four up to eight up, right? So that is the distance of four. And again, graph paper, this is not quite as cool as graph paper, but you could count it, one, two, three, four, right? So now it goes back to, we have two sides, which are always at a right angle from one another. This goes back to the whole, like, what you learn in the seventh grade or whatever. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So then you would have this guy, 2 squared, plus this guy, squared, equals C squared. That is 4 plus 16 equals C squared. That means that's 20 equals C squared. Root both sides. And voila, you have the distance, which is root 20. So if you're sharp, you're probably like, cool, Ryan. All that they did with the distance formula is skip the drawing and skip all the coolness and jump right to a formula. And I like it. I do like it. But the problem is you for sure will forget it. And if you forget it, it's really easy to draw the points, connect them, draw the vertical component, horizontal component, and then from there just do Pythagorean theorem. So that's the cool way to do it. And like people think it's cool. The picture's nice. Maybe on a test you could show off to your teacher and they'll like it. And that's it. And remember, if you struggle uh, in this, in your local high school, you could take it online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will then be transferred back to you.